Straight from Ireland. Like, so anyway, here we go. I couldn't resist making a swap with a fellish, uh, a, I almost said a fellow Irishman. I'm not Irish. Uh, my name, Des Moines. This is a total tangent. Here we go into the studio. Hope you're doing well, everybody. Hope you had a great day, a great run. Couple packages arrived. We'll open the, I think I know what's in here. We'll open these up in about 90 seconds rather than at the end of the vlog. The focus of the vlog is yes, first impressions of the New Balance Fuel Cell TC. I realize I'm late to the game, kind of like with the Brooks Hyperion Tempo, but that's okay. We got it into the rotation, and I did, I believe, confuse some people, probably confuse some people by the title of the vlog as well. And on Strava yesterday, I posted on Strava, I said, uh, stop at New Balance, just stop, meaning in a good way, meaning I am excited and bullish after my first run, not my full review, that'll happen after 50 miles. So far, I'm very excited about this shoe. I'll get to that in one second, but first, here we go. Shout out to Kyra and to Neil. Thank you for the letters, absolutely inspiring. I've read them, awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks for taking the time just to write a letter. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing like getting real, ma real mail in 2020. Okay, I think that's it. Let's do the box first, here we go. Got the trusty knife. Okay, one second. Oh, mama, here we go. Orange box. I think you all know what this is. Come on, get out of there. One, a two, a one, two, three. Oh, yeah. The Nike Pegasus Trail 2 in green. Oh, I love that green. So, a lot of people are interested in this shoe. So, here we go. We'll test this shoe out for you sooner, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Nike Pegasus Trail 2. Too. So there's the box for that. And then moving on real quick to this package, made a little swap, made a little swap. I believe I know what this is. Oh man, you ready for this? Here we go. Oh yes, yes, yes. Shout out. So just a little side story. Uh, True Love, her name, in case you didn't know, her name is Bridget. B-R-I-G-I-D. What does that tell you? Very, very Irish. She, she comes from an Irish family on both sides. Uh, basically, right off the ship, her great grandparents, I think, like straight from Ireland. Like, so, anyway, here we go. I couldn't resist making a swap with a fellish, uh, a, I almost said a fellow Irishman. I'm not Irish. Uh, my name, Demore, this is a total tangent. Uh, Demore is actually Belgian. We come from the French Belgian border. So, shout out to the Belgians as well. All right, here we go. One, two, and three. Oh, yeah, shout out to the Irish. Oh, yes. So this, I made a swap with a guy on Instagram. This is epic, adding it to the collection, kind of like my Australian uh, singlet as well. Absolutely awesome, looking good. Shout out to the Irish. Thank you for watching over in Ireland. I'll probably wear this tomorrow, actually. Okay, putting that over there. Let's dive into today's run in the New Balance Fuel Cell TC. Oh my goodness, 22 miles. 6.30 a mile, about 80% on dirt. Uh, this is a road shoe, all right, let's just jump into that. It's a neutral road shoe with a carbon fiber plate in the uh, midsole there. So we're looking at 36 uh, millimeter stack height in the heel, 26 millimeter in the forefoot. Now, today's run, 80% uh, on dirt on the Highline Canal and then about 20% on pavement. It did great on the Highline Canal. It's a very packed down dirt, uh, but bottom line, it was a solid day. I went a little faster than I was expecting in this shoe. I was planning to run like 650, maybe seven minute pace, and it ended up being an average of 630 a mile. Oh yeah, and before I get too far along into my first impressions, this is what I said, what was it, two days ago? In the running shoe, matrix major asterisk major asterisk i actually have not i'm just being very transparent i have not run in this shoe yet it's the new balance fuel cell tc it's on my list i just haven't worked it in yet but look i can it's so soft it's almost a little concerning but look at that how soft that is so stay tuned i will put this into the rotation very very soon that's right i was straight up concerned about the midsole and how soft it is but i'm telling you everyone we nailed it. Long run, soft landing. Long run, soft landing. 
I'm, I'm excited, as you can probably tell. I'm very, very excited. Okay, so 36 and 26, 10 millimeter drop in men's size nine. We're looking at nine point, sorry, in women's size eight, we're looking at 7.3 ounces or 207 grams. Men's size nine, we're looking at 9.3 ounces or 264 grams. And yes, I have not even weighed it in my size yet. Here we go. You're seeing my gut reaction right now. 8.6 ounces in my size. 8.6 ounces in my size. And moving on to the upper, it's a synthetic mesh upper. I was getting a question on Twitter yesterday about somebody interested. I think he lives in Georgia or maybe Florida. It's getting very hot. And he was asking me about what would be a good, I think it was, a, he was asking for like an easy day shoe. This is not an easy day shoe, but an easy day shoe that is breathable. Well, I'll just say right now, this upper is breathable. However, New Balance, come on now. So right here through the toe box, there is an overlay and it's all about branding for the shoe. It, you can barely see it. So I don't know why they didn't make it pop more if they want to promote New Balance, but this overlay is not necessary except for the purpose of branding. And in my opinion, take that overlay off and this toe box becomes even more breathable. So that's my little critique of the upper thus far. Um, all right, and actually a couple more critiques. First of all, the tongue is not gusseted. That's, that's not the end of the world. Um, heel, heel counter, and collar and tab of the shoe, heel tab, are awesome. Uh, not plush, but comfortable, all right? The whole ankle area. Now, I do, this is an issue with New Balance. More often than not, too much material through the vamp of the shoe and yes, the toe box. Can you see the crease, see the, 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 uh, the waves happening through the toe box there? I don't like a toe box that has too much material. I think it's a little sloppy. It's not a great lockdown through the toe box as far as the upper is concerned. And even through the eyelet chain, again, just a little loosey goosey. I'm not gonna quite say sloppy, but it just doesn't, it wasn't a perfect lockdown over the top of the midfoot. So, mm, upper breathable, overall moving in the right direction. But I think if New Balance, like it was an issue with the New Balance Beacon I think V2 and maybe even the V1 actually as well. Um, so just too much material through the upper. And for that midsole, so 36 and 26, pretty high, okay? And actually let's jump into the stability of the shoe. I am getting reports that the Nova Blast, there it is over there, people are feeling a little unstable in it and I, I get it. Um, I don't mind feeling a little unstable, especially as I strive to be more of a four foot striker. It doesn't quite bother me as much, but um, I did, okay. I felt a smidge unstable uh, with that 36 and 26 stack height in the midsole. Not the end of the, not the, not a deal breaker by any means. Uh, but if you like a shoe where you feel really stable, I would say don't buy the Fuel Cell TC. The carbon fiber plate in there, I'll come back to that in one minute. Um, and what else on the midsole? There was one other thing. I think, okay, if I think of it, I'll come back. And real quick on the outsole, very simple outsole, simple tread pattern, rubber under the forefoot, and a little bit of extra rubber under the heel. Um, exposed uh, fuel cell foam there, which I like a lot. There's quite a bit of rubber though under the forefoot and I think they could reduce it just a little bit. Now that will increase the uh, durability prediction 100% because of that uh, that forefoot rubber but I do think it could be reduced absolutely just a little bit to bring the weight of the shoe down. Overall though pleased with the outsole. Onto the fit, true to size, spot on, loving the fit, no issues there. As far as the comfort goes of the upper, again not screaming comfortable but um, this is being you know, marketed as a up-tempo shoe, even yes, a race day shoe. I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, so I'm not looking for a ton of comfort, but it's not, a, it's not the most comfortable lockdown feel as I've already mentioned. And onto my drawback and positive of the Fuel Cell TC. Drawback sadly has to be just too much material through the toe box, especially the end of the eyelet chain, just a little too loosey-goosey uh, through that eyelet chain. But the positive, oh man. The legs are not getting any younger, everybody. They're not getting any younger. 22 miles today. I felt great, really. But this midsole, how soft it is, combined with the carbon fiber plate. And I gotta say, oh, I felt the plate. I felt the, I felt the bounce. I really did. I'm trying to think. Oh, it, it honestly, I felt it just a little bit more. Where is it? Then the 
Endorphin Pro. I think it's partially because this midsole is so soft. I don't know. I'm just trying to really reflect back and go back to the feel of the legs. Um, I think I'm feeling a little more bounce uh, through the Fuel Cell TC compared to the Endorphin Pro. So that's my positive, everyone. This was a fun ride. Really, really fun ride and really nice, I think, to save the legs a little bit by going a little softer on this on the midsole uh, scale. Whether you want to call it the density of the midsole or just the um, the ability to press into it with your like, look at the, can you see that? It's just it's just really frankly quite nice on the legs and especially as again the legs are not getting any younger. And for my durability prediction, we're gonna go with 400 miles, but come back after 50 miles, I'll get you an update on that. I just don't know how that midsole is gonna do uh, because it is so soft. And the, uh, how will I use this shoe moving forward? Long runs, 100%. This is, this is a fun shoe. Now soft, soft landing, and actually who is this shoe best for? If you like a soft landing rather than more of a firmer landing, okay? That is what you're gonna get in the Endorphin Pro, just a little more firm, and frankly, I'll just say it, like I said in the Matrix, a little more responsive, absolutely. In fact, just doing the bend test right now, uh, the Endorphin Pro has a little more, I feel a little more rigidity to that midsole. Yup, yup, there it is. It's just, it's a little more rigid through that, uh, through that bend test. Now with that said, could you also use this shoe for tempo days or threshold days? Absolutely, but I would opt for a slightly lighter shoe coming in at 8.6 ounces in my size. And what is this guy? I'll put it on the screen. I think it was like in my size, like six point, was I think it was like 6.8 or 6.9. There it is on your screen. So quite a bit lighter for the Endorphin Pro. And let's jump into it. Price point, Onelli, $200 for the Fuel Cell, Fuel Cell TC. It's a little much. It's a little much, New Balance. I'm hope I this shoe, okay, if the Endorphin Pro is $200, $200, but the Endorphin Pro is significantly lighter, I'm gonna say that this Fuel Cell TC needs to be closer to that 175 mark. Uh, for the price point. So there you go. That's my thought on the price. It's just you're pushing the envelope a little too much New Balance. Now real quick, one last point on the Fuel Cell TC price and how to buy. Many of you already know this, but in case you don't, I have a partnership with Running Warehouse where all the shoes I have tested for all of you in the last, let's say three to four months are listed down below every single blog. And when you use those links next to those shoes and go buy the shoes, yes, we get a little commission back from those purchases, which frankly allows me to make these daily vlogs, all right? Like, it's a huge help. So thank you if you do pick up shoes for using those links. However, I'm gonna say right now, uh, well, first of all, this TC is basically sold out everywhere. So I haven't done this in a long time, but with the coronavirus and at least in the United States, running shoe stores are starting to open up again, okay? I'm thinking of Runner's Roost here in Denver. I wanna encourage everyone right now, what is it, June 5th, to go support your local running shoe stores. They need us in a big, big way, all right? In a big, big way. So go make a purchase. Maybe they have an online website, maybe they don't. And that is the question of the day. Give a shout out to your local running shoe store. Send them some love down in the comments. Let them know that you're gonna go in and buy a shoe or buy a jacket or buy a hat from them or whatever it is because right now it's tough. It's really, really tough. So I just wanted to make that point like I'm ever grateful for your support through those links down below. But at the end of the day, I think competition is good in the running shoe store space. So the more running shoe stores that we have, it helps keep prices in check for everybody, in my opinion. All right, everyone, so that's the end of the vlog. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching. New Balance Fuel Cell TC, first impressions in the books, full review after 50 miles. After 50 miles, everybody, onward and upward. All right, you know what, I think we'll give it a toss back to the Saucony Endorphin Pro, right there, right there, right there. Uh, full review of the Saucony Endorphin Pro in case you're interested in another shoe that is is a carbon fiber plate shoe. Anyway, right there, right there. Onward and upward. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.